If I'm playing in this position where, again, I'm, I'm double butterfly, my partner's posting on my shoulder, I can start to elevate Max to his hands. And one thing, whenever I elevate somebody to their hands, is I need to have a concave back. So I need to make sure that I can rock this way instead of splatting my body. And the way that we do that is by making sure that our shoulders are in front of our hips like this. I'm rounded. I don't want to be back here like this where I'm doing like a Russian twist ab exercise. So I'm in front of my partner. He's posted on my shoulders this way. I just come to the inside. I can even come to the elbows. And as I scoot my hips in, I bring him up to his hands and I forward shift to bring him away from me. Now, our option from here, I'm gonna bring my right hand high. And what I wanna do is keep this elbow as high as I can. I'm gonna reinforce it by catching my own elbow. Now my left hand rotates the outside. So I have this elbow to elbow grip. And what I'm gonna start to do is place my left foot on Max's hip here. And now as I fall to my left shoulder, my right leg's gonna rotate out. I'm gonna bring my right knee high and I keep this nice bite, keeping my head behind his wrist. From here, as my hips come back, my head comes in and I make this crunching motion and I get a strong finish on a reverse armbar or urigatame here, okay? So again, the position itself, we come underneath our partner, we kick him up and away. I go high elbow, I reinforce. And now look how my left foot's like a stopgap measure. As Max pushes in, I just catch him with that foot on the hip. Now I fall, which allows me to rotate my right foot free and bring my right knee high. With my right knee high now and my hands connected, I bring my hips off the floor. I move my butt back, head comes to, and I get a strong finish on an udigatame or reverse arm lock. One thing that you'll notice sometimes when you play this reverse arm lock is your grip might be a little too high or a little too low and you feel that you can't get the right pressure. Another thing, and just statistically speaking, um, it, it's a little bit hard to break and, and finish your reverse arm lock sometimes, right? Some people are amazing. But sometimes I'll have trouble myself finishing from the Udigatami. So what I like to do in that situation, when I get to here, is enforce it by bringing my right foot high. So look how my right heel is going to go up on Max's shoulder. And now I'm gonna bring my left shoelaces behind Max's tricep. So my feet do this, one, two. So now I have even more control over Max's body. And again, I can start to put more pressure and get a strong reverse arm lock. But what's nice is with my feet involved now, as Max starts to build height to try to take the pressure off his arm, look at my left foot. It slips free and I come around. Now my right hand is gonna grab my left shin and I'm gonna drop my head. As I drop my head, I start to angle. One, two, three. My left hand scoops, my right knee comes up. I'm gonna open my leg, make a nice close, triangle choke from our Udigatami. So, on this side please. Again, we start from a situation where he's double shoulder posted. As I scoot in, I kick Max away, boom, I find this tight position, I reinforce on my own elbow. My left foot goes to the hip, I fall, my right foot comes free. I'm here. I'm putting the pressure, I'm gonna bring my right heel high, my left shoelace is behind Max's tricep. As Max posts to build height, I'm gonna start taking my left foot free, and now look how I catch my shin. The nice thing about this is Max's arm is trapped behind my head and in my shoulder. And so as I drop my head to the floor, it actually crosses it for me naturally because my arm's already in play. So now as I angle, I didn't have to mess with his arm at all. My left hand reaches all the way through the leg. I keep my body in a rounded position. Guys, on triangle chokes, don't let your knees fall away from your body. We keep our knees tight to our chest. I'm gonna bring my right knee high. I'm gonna open and now I start to close. I get a strong finish on my triangle that all stemmed from my Udigatame or reverse arm lock. Guys, if you like that reverse arm lock and you like the butterfly series, you can check out the video we did on a shoulder crunch right here. If you want our full jujitsu curriculum, everything we have from white belt to black belt, you can go to corepro.bjj.com, try it out for free for seven days, right here.